welcome back to the Coco channel and to one of the retail horror stories. Um, <laughs> I kind of wanted to do like lead off of last week's with the insane crazy coworker. Um, and thank you to everyone who was like, you dodged a bullet because I definitely did. Um, and then this week's retail horror story is going to lead into next week's, which I think I'm going to start the dating horror stories because... I told you I have a ton of. So <clears throat> I told you last week that um, M got, we went and got tattoos. So I'm going to tell you that story because it's just crazy. So remember I told you there's a girl, you know, this is at Target and we have a coworker there whose name is Kiari, who was our friend, you know, and um, she like made friends with this guy. I couldn't even tell you what his name was. So we're just going to call him tattoo guy. So she made friends with him and, you know, they have been texting and this, this and that and um, she's from Michigan and she like, I don't know, she was like flirting with them and, you know what I mean, trying to get tattoos for free and so it, I think she like talked him down to getting like $20 tattoos for anything we wanted as long as it wasn't like too big and, you know, I already knew what I wanted. I wanted that four leaf clover for the longest time and I'm pretty sure I was like 19 or 20 at the time. Anyways, so <laughs> he wants to do it at his house. He's like, come over, we'll have drinks, we'll have fun, you know, and Kiari's younger than I am and Chris was there and then M, you know what I mean, was like 21. So all three of us younger, you know, all three of us younger ones are pretty excited because, you know, underage drinking is so cool. It's not really. It's not. I know you guys aren't going to take that serious, but anyways. So, you know, we're excited to go over there and party and, you know, get tattoos that are super cheap. So we go over there and it was the craziest setup. Like, I have seen people do tattoos out of their house and they have, like, an actual studio in their house. It's just like people who do hair out of their house or do nails out of their house or makeup, you know what I mean? Like they have like actual stations and like it's nice, like new. This dude like smoked in his house. There was like ashtrays and cigarettes everywhere. Um, and I, I just can't remember like exactly what else, but I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, this is like super dirty. But me being an idiot and just wanting a cheap tattoo, Cheap and tattoo should never go together. Just, they don't. Um, so I remember, like, um, I'm pretty sure that Kiari went first, and then I went. And um, I had already gotten one before when I was, like, I think I was 17 when I got my very first one. And um, I don't remember it hurting this bad. Like, it freaking hurt, you know? And so tattoos like it takes a while to heal and you know where it was like it just it looked kind of I don't know like I couldn't really get a good look at it and you know it itched so bad so 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 bad and I remember scratching it and a piece of the scab like had the color in it so that was the first mistake that I ever did was scratching a tattoo oh um so it like heals you know like two weeks go by and I'm looking at it and the coloring is the worst coloring I've ever seen in my entire life. It literally looked like a bowl of old guacamole. Like there was like some brown and some green, you know what I mean? Like it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. So I remember just being so pissed and like I wanted my $20 back and I wanted him to fix it. And so I remember like getting on Kiari like you need to give me his phone number like give me his phone number so she finally gives it to me and I'm calling him and I'm calling him and he's not picking up and he's not picking up so finally I called him off of I think Target's work like I called him off of Target uh, work phone and um because I remember being at work having this conversation and so I called him and I'm like I want my money back and he goes who the is this you know and I'm like this is Brittany, you did my tattoo a couple weeks ago, and he's like, I don't remember no Brittany, you know, and he was like arguing with me that I wasn't who I said I was, and he didn't remember, and I was like, you did a four-leaf clover on me, and it looks like a dirty bowl of guacamole, and he was like, what? You're gonna insult my work, and la 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 la, like, I remember having like this big huge battle with this dude on the phone, 
And so, it, you know, he wasn't, I don't even remember where he lived. Not that I would like take my butt over there and you know what I mean, like knock on his door. It wasn't like that ballsy. So um, then all that crazy stuff happened with M and I ended up over at Converse. And so we had this guy there and um, his name was Gyro and he was so cool. He was this dude from New York and he was just the funniest person one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. He was just super funny. And so um, he had a friend who was a tattoo artist. And so me and like three, three coworkers from Converse went over to this dude's house and he fixed it for me. And I even put like a M for my maiden name over it um, with like a Celtic knot in it. And um, he did an amazing job and again, he did it out of his house, but he had like an actual tattoo parlor in his house, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like it was legit <laughs> instead of the first guy. And so this next guy is who ended up being my next boyfriend. Um, so we'll get into that next week. Lots of horror stories with this idiot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you take anything from this, just... Go to a tattoo parlor if you can. Again, there are people that do it legit out of their house, but best bet is just to go to a tattoo parlor and pay quality money for a quality tattoo because it's permanent. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys are excited about dating horror stories. Let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.